Hey guys, that is 6.30 in the evening and we're still 30 in here. <laughs> and it's blue as well. It's too hot in here for you, mate. <laughs> he's currently chasing flies or something. What are you after? <laughs> anyway, the gearbox. This video is probably going to be the equivalent of watching grass grow. Thought I'd pre warn you. Although I'm actually quite happy sitting on a hillside watching grass grow. I'm, yeah, I'm quite simple. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> anyway, I've started taking a few bits off this gearbox. You probably can't see very well with the light in here. I've got a few bits in there soaking because we've got this thick sort of congealed horrible grease it's, it's actually that thick it was slowing all this mechanism down as so it's just in everywhere so what i'm going to do is get this end case off i'm going to get all this washed out and then investigate further i know I don't know if you'll hear it you'll have to bear with me I haven't got the microphones on at the minute because I'm just getting on with stuff I don't know if you'll hear this no you won't but I can feel it that this end big bearing at the end here feels horrible basically well we've got that we've got a new bearing we've got a new seal for it so that ain't a problem I think as I go through this there may be a couple of more little things to order i've got some tab washers i don't like reusing them because once they've been bent in then bent back they're normally well on the way to snapping so i will order some of them we've got a tab washer on this one here and obviously we've got a tab washer on the sprocket there so we'll get them ordered i'll say each cock's normally pretty good it's normally here the next day anyway so I'll get myself a little list together as we go along with this and get stuff that we need. I'm hoping everything else is going to be okay. And this is going to be a fairly simple bit of the project. I probably already give it the kiss of death. Let's see. So we'll continue to strip it out and see what we're up against. Right. I've got it carefully clamped up in the vise it's clamped up actually at the mounting points at the bottom so i want to try and get this apart with minimal disruption gearboxes are not my favorite not quite up there with wiring but they're still up there <laughs> Yes, this is where I find out I've left a fixing in there. That one. Well, where did I put the ratchet for that? There. That one there. Here we go. How much more oil? Yeah, loads of oil. That's all draining into a tub down there, by the way. And maybe a little bit on the floor. There we go. Nice. That is sticky. Ah, so we'll give that a real good wash out, I think. Yes. Yeah, Been in there a while, that lot has. Look, look at that thick brown 
stuff. It's, uh, it's a bit nasty in there. <clears throat> All right. Let's get it in better light. Right, I'm going to get some of these parts washed up first and then empty this out because it'd be full of all sorts of grit and grime and then we're going to start cleaning the gearbox itself yeah this is a little bit of a mess someone did offer me a parts cleaner once surplus two requirements and as i've got the memory of a dead house plant for the life of me, I can't remember who it was. Big parts washer, that would have been great. <laughs> hey oh, I can't remember. Let's pop it off there. Okay, we've got all that washed out and cleaned up. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. I'm checking everything over now, making sure everything else is okay. Uh, all I've got to do is get that bearing out because uh, I don't know if you'll hear this. Hold on. Yeah, it did. That, that, that doesn't sound the best. So I'm going to get that out and replace that. I'm just getting my little list together before I call it a day. It's now getting a bit late. The only reason I'm working late because I haven't done much in here in the day and I've been off this morning doing other things. So it's just nicer to do it while it's a bit cooler. We've got the main body of the gearbox here, which I am cleaning out. Slowly getting all the uh, sludge, I'll call it. <laughs> loose as you can see let's get this bit here look so we can grab that it's like really really thick nasty stuff that that hasn't come out of my ear it's okay <laughs> but yeah it's, it's quite horrible now hold on <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to continue washing this out till we've got everything loose in here. And then I'll call it a day and get the order for the rest of the bits that it cut. So we need this bearing. We've already got the other bearing and seal. Uh, we've already got the kickstart spring. Oh, I think that's about it really. We've already got gaskets. So it's a case of, yeah, finishing that off, ordering that, and then we can put this back together. Now this is something we definitely don't want hanging about. Because one, I'll start forgetting things. <laughs> so I'm going to get that order in, get everything here pronto, and get this thing back in one piece. So what I'll probably do is get this clean, get all the outer casing all cleaned up, and we'll probably get the casing bolted to the engine. It would just help hold it while I put everything back inside and just make it easier. And obviously every little bit we get back together is a step forward. Yeah, I have no clue what they've put in this gearbox, but I'll say it's quite nasty. Whatever it was. Everything else seems okay. We'll get all the outside all nice so it matches uh, what we've done with the engine. And not tomorrow, but the following day when the parts are here, this should be all back in one piece. And that will be a nice job to tick off the list. Because it is a little bit of a pain when you've got to start dipping into and to this extent. 
it would have been nice if everything was fine and I was just cleaning it up but that wasn't to be anyway let's let that soak right we've got a bit more gunk out of it I just want to drive that old bearing out now so we can get it on the move Feels like it's going straight away, that's all right. There we go. soak I think let's get some of this thicker stuff out amazing look at it it's full of snot <laughs> we know it'll be nice and fresh yeah I'm just gonna leave that in soak the worst of it seems at the top of the gearbox which is there so we'll leave that in there like that I think by the morning it should be diluted and we'll just brush it out This last bearing out. Uh, put that on the floor just in case I don't catch me shaft. I caught it. That's brass, so it doesn't damage anything. bit washing out. Right, now for the bearing. It looks like that goes that way. It's getting replaced. Oops. Good old socket. Well, that's easy enough. Straight out. Right, there we go. We are completely stripped. Yeah, that doesn't feel brilliant. So at least we can get the number off this now, so I know I'm getting the correct one. We'll get uh, decent quality ones. Can't see, I haven't got my glasses. I'll take that down the house for me. sorted okay I think we're about sorted for today on that one uh, I'm gonna get down the house now and put the order in with Hitchcox so we've got the other bearing which I've already lost <laughs> where have I put that oh here we go ah, there it is right in front of me so I can see the number on that well I can't see the number I know there's a number there I can see something with my worn out old eyes. So I'll take that down the house with me, where I've got some glasses. I'm also 
gonna double check this spring. So there's the new spring, as you can see, we've got like a big sticky out bit on that one and nothing on this one. So I'm hoping it's correct. And the bit that snapped off is the sticky out bit and then it will be correct. So I'm gonna double check that to make sure we have got the correct one. Hopefully it is. So yeah, so bearing, tab washers, and we're about there. Leave the body and soak overnight over here. And that should clean up tomorrow. So tomorrow's job is get up early while it's still cool. Get that body cleaned up. I'm actually gonna put that onto the engine and it'll just make it easier to build everything in while it's all attached to the engine, I think. As you can probably guess, we're still waiting for powder coating, but we're gonna plow forward while we're waiting. And hopefully, we'll have everything done when the powder coating is finished. So assembly of the bike should go pretty quick, really, because everything will be ready. It's just a case of putting everything together. Oh, I've got to true the wheels up. That's no big deal. And a couple of bits of polishing at the bottom of the forks on one of the rock covers. And then I'll freshen everything up with the polishing. I think we're about there then. Pretty much got everything, I think. There may be the odd little thing that I find along the way. But as I said, Itchcock's uh, really good with their delivery. So it'll be always here the following day. So we won't have no more delays since we've got absolutely everything here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Can't think of anything else. I probably will when I get down the house and have to come back up here and double check things. That's what normally happens. Anyway, that'll do. I'm going. <laughs> Cheers for watching guys. Take care. Thank you.